What is up you guys? My name is Justine if you guys are new here and today <laughs> we're gonna clean the greenhouse um, but first I wanted to show you just how we um, decorated the the garden this year for the fall season and I think you guys are gonna really really like this. Let's jump into it. Here it is right now. What you guys think down in the comments below if you guys like it let's get into the greenhouse it's a complete disaster and I have a bug in my coffee it's fine before we go to the greenhouse I want to run you through the garden really quick and show you what we have growing in September in our garden okay so we've got the front entry it's a little messy because I've already been working on the greenhouse We've got some echinacea that has bloomed right here that I started from seed. We've got some foxgloves that'll bloom next year, hopefully. An elderberry bush that I've cut, <laughs> I've cut multiple times and I cannot get it to leave this area. So I'm just kind of trying to train it up like a tree. I've got some daylilies in the back there. Another foxglove. And then here, this is a princess spirea. Uh, there's there's another name with it Sp princess something. I'll put it up on the screen um, This is a spirea. I got it on clearance at Walmart, and I hope that it gets it's supposed to get pretty big So I'm hoping that it um, comes back and looks good in the spring. We'll see Is that Mommy, good? What? good? Pear. Pear. Good job We've got some more spirea. These are the magic carpet spirea, and they just get um, I believe 12 inches wide. I'll put the dimensions on the screen because I cannot remember. Uh, these are some silver Shasta daisies. They're white. They're gorgeous. I started these from seed in the greenhouse this year. And you can see just how big they've gotten. I've heard that they mound. Or I've heard that they spread. So if you know, let me know. We have got a... This is a hibiscus that I got. And... <laughs> It doesn't have any blooms on it right now, but um, it looked so beautiful when I first got it. We've got some purple hearts here in the front. And we're going to walk up to the raised beds. Over on the other side of the trellis, I've got a dahlia that I started from a tuber. We've got some nasturtiums here. We've got some peas that are growing on this trellis. I'm trying to kind of train them up. They will grab on. You can, if you can see the tendrils right there, they'll grab on, but they kind of need help just getting up there initially and then once they grab on and grab a hold you don't have to do anything with them anymore pepper plants that are uh, here's a poblano and then over here look at this wild morning glory i just don't have the heart to rip it out i've got some tomatillos here in this bed and then we're going to kind of pan back over to this bed. We've got some okra here. And oh my goodness, you guys. Fresh raw okra is so good. This one might be just a little bit small. Whoopsies. Uh-oh, where'd it go? There it is. All of this is peppers. And you're going to look, just look at this. Just look at how loaded. I need to come out here and harvest. I'm trying to stay out of the shadow of the camera the shadow but look at these zinnias oh my goodness they're gorgeous and we've got some blue spice basil here you can see the pollinators absolutely love it and it smells so good and then we've got some 
romaine lettuce and butter crunch lettuce that I actually purchased from our um, local garden center and it's looking fantastic. It's grown quite a bit since I planted it. Along this entire trellis here at the front of the bed, we've got peas all along here. We've got basil, sage. Let me come over to this side so I can show you. Oh, and in this walkway, let me back up. In this walkway here, this is the other pink princess. It's not pink princess. Gosh, what is it? It's princess something. Um, spirea. And it's supposed to get pretty big, so I just put this plant in there. We'll see what it does in the spring. I may put annuals around it or something like that. And then we've got some variegated sage. We've got some stevia. Some gold dust rosemary. And look how pretty these leaves are. A variegated leaf and they're just gorgeous. We've got some parsley here that is just really growing. Look at the base of that. That looks awesome. And then I've got some cilantro that I started from seed. Now, cilantro likes cooler weather, so it doesn't grow when it's really hot. So I'm super excited to have that uh, in the cooler weather. And then basil. Here's another sage. And here's some bee balm. That's really kind of starting to look rough. It must not like the cooler weather at all. And then I can't forget about the gorgeous little, well, not the weed, the gorgeous little patch of oregano. We have been cooking with so many fresh herbs this year. Um, they have been amazing. That garden bed that's way up there with all the herbs in it is pretty close to my back door. So we just come, I mean, I can just walk right out when I'm cooking, pick some herbs and take them inside and cook with them. It's so nice. Okay, so down here past this garden is our 60 foot in ground garden. I'm hoping you guys can see everything okay with the shadows. But I do have some stuff out here because we just planted yesterday. I'm gonna try to stay out of the, I'm gonna try to keep my shadow out of the garden. I may have to come over here. So this entire row here is broccoli um, that we just planted yesterday. You can see that these are a little bit bigger this is all cabbage. We've got purple cabbage down there. I'll show you in just a second. And then all of this row and this row are Brussels sprouts. And then you can see here where it differentiates. That's broccoli. Um, we've got some, we've got some pest damage, but it's not anything I don't think that they're going to come out of. Now there are a couple plants. See, these are already growing really, really nicely. There are a couple plants that are pretty rough. This is pretty rough. This is also pretty dang rough um, but I'm hoping most of these will pull out and here's our purple cabbage I'm gonna try to get in the shade so I can get you a better lighting aren't those purple cabbage gorgeous oh I just love it that's what I really really like about fall gardening is once the pest pressure isn't near as tough um, once it starts getting cooler the pests are gonna kind of leave the plants alone and that's what I want good job um, people also sometimes use row covers um, I am going to get a frost cover to put over this entire uh, patch so I'm not sure how wide it is um, but you can actually order row covers on Amazon that are like 10 by 30 foot 10 foot by 30 foot so I am gonna go ahead and order a row cover off of Amazon to cover up all of these brassicas if it does dip you know in the low 20s I will cover these um, a lot of people keep recommending to me make sure you get the hoops make sure you get the hoops and that's a great idea and I've done that in the past and I don't knock that that method at all I mean that that works great too but I'm not going to buy the hoops again um, I had them once my dogs jumped on them and just tore the whole thing to shred so what I'm gonna do is the Charles Dowding method if you guys have never heard of Charles Dowding look him up on YouTube um, he just takes his row cover and lays it right on top of the plants he gives it a little bit of slack and he just puts rocks on the edges to keep the row cover down so that's what I'm going to do this year you just have to have some rocks and the row cover and you're good. Okay, before time gets away from us anymore, let's get into 
the greenhouse before it gets too hot and get some of this cleaned up. So I think I've decided that any pots that are cracked, any trays that are cracked that really aren't usable, any really flimsy stuff, because I will save like all of my pots when I buy things or anything. This one's in pretty good condition and I like how big these holes are, but I'm going to toss a lot of this stuff. I really want to invest in some, um, I really want to invest in, oh, what's it, what is it, hmm. bootstrap farmer trays. Uh, this spring and honestly I think that's what I'm gonna ask for for Christmas from my husband but we'll see what happens oh it's getting bright so you guys might be seeing cardboard around here and I'm what I'm doing with the cardboard is I'm saving it to make beds. Um, the new bed out here that you just seen with the daisies in it and the, uh, why can I ever remember that plant's name? The hibiscus. Um, that's a brand new bed this year. We laid cardboard down right over the top of the, the grass, uh, the weeds and the grass. There wasn't a ton of weeds already there because we've been doing some work, um, in the yard, but yeah, this tray's going. Um, I have just, uh, what was I even saying now? Oh, but I've been saving any boxes. My grandma's been saving boxes for me. That way I can make some new beds. And we just lay compost right on top of it. Uh, it works great. It helps suppress the weeds. It takes a while for the, uh, the cardboard to break down. Um, but if you're wanting to plant new stuff in it, you can just take a box knife um, and kind of pull back the compost that you just put down on it and then cut the cardboard right off. Sorry, I have my glasses on. It's super sunny out here and it's really not the best lighting for filming, but you know, it is what it is. Also, all my red solo cups are going this year. This is like the third season they've been Mommy. used. And I'm done with them. What, baby? Well, looky there. There's a shelf. Who would have thought? Now, I really don't know what we're going to do with this thing. See, I did have it all nice and neat and stacked. And I think I'm going to get rid of these trays, though. They're not really good unless you have all of the... You know, I should just go get the mule the sun a little bit I may just go get the mule um, and pull it around here back it up to the garden the greenhouse and start loading the trash that way I go dump it in the dumpster a little bit easier sissy you want to go ride you want to go get the mule come on let's go get it let's go take a ride hey. 